All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and start with some Barbie nails. What, what I'm going to do, just like last time, we got to start with our base. So I'm going to do a clear coat on every single nail all the way to the cuticle and down with our clear color. And that's just going to give us um, some coverage where we don't get staining on our nails. So I've already done the filing and the shaping and all that like I did on the last video. And I'm sorry if y'all can hear some background music. My neighbors are having a cookout and they're playing music pretty loud. So if you can hear that, I do apologize. So I thought I'd do some Barbie nails since there's a new Barbie movie coming out and I like those colors anyway. So we're going to put down our first layer, which is our adhesive. We're going to stick it into the clear. I'm going to let that sit for a minute just to let it adhere well. So you're going to do this to all 10 fingers. Get that base down and you're just going to stick it into the clear. You don't have to be you know, exactly perfect with this part because it's not part of the design as of yet. But you definitely want to get the whole entire nail coated. That way um, you don't have any staining on the nail when it comes to the color. All right, guys, so we got the clear base down, so I'm going to brush all that excess powder off. <sighs> Y'all know I enjoy doing my nails. It's like the one time I get to myself and I kind of get to just take a break and do something I enjoy. So here is the base with just the clear, and I don't worry about the underside, so... Here's the base with just the clear. What's pretty cool is I already have stuff that's kind of Barbie. So this one is Simply Plastic. This one is Dream House. I don't know what the color of this one is. I lost the name of it. Um, and then, you know, I've got some purples. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of um, foil as well, just to kind of give it a different look. Let's go ahead and open these. So we got our pink glitter here. I had to have a purple to kind of break it up. And then I have like a hot pink glitter there. And then I have just a, a nice little pink. Look how beautiful those colors are, y'all. And then I think I'm gonna do the foil like a pink purple kind of break it up a little bit maybe put some silver on there as well all right y'all so this one has some glitter in it let me see if i can show you that has some glitter in it so i might do a two-tone with these two and that should still um, give me like a nice fade because um, I'm not going to do a fade with like a glitter and then a solid. Um, but we'll just see how it goes. Alright. So I think the solid, I'm going to do the purple. So again, we're just going to take... And remember from my last video, don't go all the way to the cuticle. We'll do that near the end because you don't want it thick at the cuticle. So we'll apply it almost to the cuticle. And again, what I love with powder is whatever you mess up, you can file. It's okay. All right, and then remember, we're just going to go in at an angle. And like that. I always let it sit for a minute. And then I kind of just tap off all that excess. Oh, this little guy. 
And there you go. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to do the foil on this finger. So let's go ahead and do the glitter on this one. So not all the way to the cuticle, just almost. Brush that to make sure you get your sides. Take your time. Alright, so that's gonna be so let's go ahead and just like last time. Go in at an angle. I'll let that sit for a minute. Dump off the excess. And there we go. Look how proud Barbie would be. That's pretty. All right. Since we're gonna do marble on this hand, what I'm going to have to do is basically put a base down because remember with the powder we have to create layers so there's enough structure there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically put the light pink color down and then we'll marble a design on top. That way the marble design isn't basically see-through and you can see the nail underneath still. All right, so I'm gonna dip that. Now, since we're doing foil on this last hand, I'm not gonna put any um, color on it. So I'm just gonna probably do another layer of clear. I know it sounds funny, but it, it's very pretty. I've done it before. So this time, I'm just going to dip into the clear. And then we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and not all the way to the cuticle yet. Let's do the two tone because I think we have a lot of pink going on here. So what I'm going to do to kind of bring it all together, let's do this pink with the purple. So to do the two-tone, you basically have to do your first layer. So let's do our first layer. And then I'll show you how I kind of do the, the fade from there. So that's what we're working with right now. So, let's go ahead and brush off all this excess powder. I'm going to let that pinky sit for a minute. So, let's go ahead and repeat. And this purple seems pretty light, so I'm not going to go all the way to the cuticle just yet. So, um, I normally do two to three layers. So... Go ahead and get the second layer down. Okay. And then we're just going to dip straight in at an angle into that powder. Again, I always let it sit for a minute. All right. We're going to do the second layer with the glitter. Again, almost to the cuticle, but not. You don't want to flood that cuticle with all that product. See, so y'all got to remember this powder is so fine. You have to do at least a couple of layers. Unless you want like something really thin. I mean, that looks fine too. And I've used some of these colors before, but this this one that I'm on here now that's like polka dot one, I've never used before. So kind of learning as we go here on this one with y'all. Just 
just gets prettier and prettier. There's basically like iridescent bits in there too. Look at that. And of course I'll show y'all up close after I brush all the powder off. Alright, so I'm going to throw one more layer on top of this one since that is so thin. That color is still see-through. So let's throw one more layer on there. And if you need to, take your little spatula and just scoop it on there. Okay. All right. Now I can brush this off. Since this is the one that's the fade, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little, um, a little brush. And what we're going to do is I'm basically going to do a fade. So you basically just sprinkle the color on there little by little until you get a good payout. And you can do this over and over again, you know, to make it perfect if you want. So let's paint our step one on there first. All right. So what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and start with the purple first. And I'm basically just going to tap that brush a little bit over the nail and I'm just a small tap and then you're going to have to pick up more color and you're just going to slowly tap that color up the nail as far as you want. It's, you know, how far you go is up to you. All right, we're going to tap that purple along there. And wipe your brush off and then I go back to the original color. We're going to lay that down. And then when I get once I get to the middle, I kind of go back and forth between the colors. And kind of layer them. Like that. And you're basically just going to go, you're going to keep doing that over and over again until you get the satisfaction that you want with the, the blending in between the two colors. And you can also take your brush and kind of just press that in real good to the nail. Pick a little bit more purple up if you want and press that into the nail really good. Now see, we'll have to do it a, another time, but now you can see where that fade is starting to come in, where you can see that purple fade into that pink. Okay, I'm going to do the foil last um, on this hand. So let's brush off this layer, excess powder here. Now you see why I put like a paper towel and all down because it is, it's extremely messy. All right, and just to show you all that I'm not perfect, you see on this nail right here where I nicked it a little bit. You see where I nicked it right here? We're going to fix that when we file. You won't even be able to see it. So what you're going to do is, and you can either even kind of scratch a little bit of it, of it off to try and make it a little bit more even, but I promise you, you won't even see that when you file. Look how pretty. Yeah, y'all can really start to see that fade there and then the purple. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do our last layer here. So in this last layer, you're going to go all the way to the cuticle. And you're going to keep it real nice and thin. And if y'all can hear my dog breathing in the background, I'm sorry. He's a giant schnauzer, so he's very noisy, but he has to be up my butt. All right. Go to the cuticle and down. And basically I just check and make sure I'm right there at the cuticle. That it's all even. 
looks good. All right, and now we're gonna dip that last layer into that purple powder. And there you go. Okay, let's do the last one on this one. Seeing in these glitters, I might not even do another layer, y'all, to be honest. I might do a little bit there and a little bit on the cuticle, and that's it. So let's just get the cuticle. And I'm just going to check for some bare spots right there on the bottom. It's kind of bare, and that's it. I'm not going to do a whole nother dip on that because glitter is pretty chunky. And that, it's pretty covered on this nail, to be honest. And you can do it like this, too. You can just take a little scooper and just dip that over the nail like that. Kind of pour it over. If you don't want to dip directly into it, you don't have to. And there we go. And see, once we do the filing, we'll get all this excess here that's on the side of the nail. Um, some people kind of take their cuticle pusher or a toothpick or something like that and just get the sides really good, but I just kind of get all that at the end when I do my filing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is the marble design. And what I like to do is take a little bit of this base color and I just pour it into a little tray. Okay. And then what I like to do is kind of take some different colors here and just kind of sprinkle them all throughout. Like that. And let's take some purple. Sprinkle that all throughout. And then I kind of give it a little shimmy. Let's do some more of this hot pink. Maybe like right in there, in there. Do a little bit more purple. Okay, and then I kind of shimmy it a little bit. I don't know if I want to add these to it. Yeah, probably not. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put your last layer of the step number one. And with this one, you are going to go all the way to the cuticle since it's our last step. With the design portion, I mean. Y'all know what I mean. All right. So you go all the way to the cuticle. Make sure we get every little bit of the surface we can. Make sure we get the sides. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to pick which area on here you like the most. And we're just going to lay right on top of it. I think I'm going to try to get right there. And I'll show y'all once I brush it off. I might have to do a little bit more of the dark purple. Just sprinkle that on. And I'll show y'all how I do that. So if it doesn't turn out exactly how you like it, you can kind of add color where you need to with powder. That's why I like powder because powder is so much more forgiving um, than you think. So on this one, we're doing the fade. So I'm going to go all the way up to the cuticle on this one since... That purple showed up really nicely. And I like how it went from glitter to, to matte. I like that. And I always have like one nail that I like the most. You know, you have favorites that, that turn out. So, 
Last time we started with the purple when we started with the fade. So this time I'm going to start with the pink. So let's start with the pink. Lightly tap. And you can kind of go close to the nail. If you go further away from the nail, it kind of fans out more. But if you hover over the nail really closely, it goes more direct where you want it. All right, so that's what I have right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and start adding the purple. So we're going to dip into that purple powder, hang really close to the nail, lightly tap on the brush, and fade up. Make sure you turn your nail to the side and get the sides really well. So when you're doing the, the fade, you start with one color. And then the next time you start, you start with the opposite color. That way you can get a good blend. And just kind of go back and forth between those colors. Try to marry them well if you can. And then I'll let that sit for a minute. Then I'll kind of go in between and I'll kind of press them in really well. You can pick up more of that purple and really press that in to the nail. And that's what we're working with. So you have that nice hot pink faded down to that purple. Looks really nice. All right. So let's brush all this excess off. You have a little bit of purple mixed in with that Simply Plastic color. And that, that glitter shows up nicely. But the purple isn't popping through as much as I thought it would. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to take this number, the number one step again, and I'm just going to apply a thin layer. And what I'm going to do is basically like I did with the fade, I'm just going to kind of sprinkle a little bit of that purple on there just to try to make that pop a little bit more. I don't know if you can see it now that it's, it's wet. I mean, it's, it's very slight to the eye. So I'm going to take a little bit of this purple. Let's think about this, y'all. Just be very light handed. I'm trying to dip this purple color where the purple already was. I'm just trying to make it a little bit more noticeable. Let's add some over here. And then what I'll do is I'll take the, the cream because you got to think you have all this that I didn't touch with the purple. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take that clear and just kind of fill in the rest where I didn't need any actual color. And it'll still make everything even like it should be um, without affecting like the shape of the nail. But I just wanted to put a little bit of purple in there to make that pop a little bit better. Okay. So, now on this finger, what we're going to do is the foil. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open this up. I think I might even do some of this silver. I think the silver is really pretty. It might break up some of this purple and pink we got going on. And it's not even really silver. It's like a, it's like a goldish silver, but I think it would tie in really well. So, I'm going to take a little bit of this foil. And what I normally do is I just apply it with um, a pair of tweezers. Kind of rip off some pieces here and there. And just apply it with some tweezers. 
I don't need my dotting tools. I don't need any of that. I just need here. So what I do is I take the number one step and I apply it to the nail. And I do apply it to, a, to the whole entire nail this time. Now you could put some color down and then do the foil, but I typically like it with the, the natural nail showing through. I think it looks really pretty. All right, so let's take, I normally just rip some off and then I kind of twist it and manipulate it inside the lid. Kind of break it up real good on the tissue and then you can just take it and it just adheres to that glue just like that. Take some pink up here. Let's do some purple. See, and I just take it and I just kind of shred it on the paper towel, make really small bits out of it. And just do it just like that. Let's do some gold. Do some pink. See, and you can kind of take it and just tap it and it'll stick and kind of break itself up. All right, let's do a little bit more purple. Now let's do a little bit more pink and then I think we'll be good. All right, and then I take it and I just dip it into the clear, just like that. See how that turns out? It's It just gives it a totally different look, totally different texture, so you have something different going on on each hand. And I think y'all might be able to see now that purple that's kind of faintly there. Then we have our pink. And then, of course, we have our purple. See, cute. Yeah, y'all can see that purple there. It's very... Yeah, you can see that purple there. It's very faint, but... Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to encapsulate all this. So you, you are going to go to the cuticle, and you're going to go down, and you're just going to encapsulate this whole design, basically just closing in all this design so you won't, you know, mess any of it up when you go to live your life. So let's go ahead and apply that number one step again. Go all the way to that cuticle and down. And we're going to go right into the clear, and that just closes everything in for us. 
So that clear we got on there. So let's go ahead and repeat this to the remaining four fingers here. All right. So I've got everything encapsulated on this hand. I'm going to go ahead and repeat everything on my right hand, and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I got all the fingers done. So what I like to do is kind of mix it up. So as you can see, I kind of did different things on different fingers, but I kept the theme the same. It's just, you know, mitch match. So what we got to do now is do the number two step, which is the activator. So let me find my bottle that has the number two on it. All right, so we're going to activate this bad boy. So you just take it. And you literally just put a good amount on there, really saturate it. Just saturate that nail really well. Okay. And what this will do will basically activate all that powder and it'll basically make it um, as hard as acrylic and then we can start filing. I did have to go in on this nail like I did the first time um, and add some more purple to it um, just to where that purple was visible. I'm trying to get a good marble on there. Next time I'll have to do a stronger purple. So get that activator on there really good. And then we have to let this set for two minutes, and then after that two minutes, we can start filing. Okay guys, so after I did all the filing and buffing, what I'm going to do next um, is do the activator once again. And I did wash my hands, got all that excess powder off. Um, just helps me see any imperfections and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the activator one more time. You know, I didn't think I would like um, the glitter, but I think I, I think it looks really nice. In the jar, I think it's less appealing, but on the nail, I think it looks really good. So we're going to do this activator one last time. And we have to let that sit for two minutes. And then once we let that sit for two minutes, I'll show you the next step in here in just a second. All right, so second to last step. So what we have to do now is we have to, the activator leaves a film. So you basically have to wipe that film off. And you'll feel it. It's like, um, it's kind of like a resistance feeling. And then once you start wiping, it starts to feel like silk. So you know you, you got that off. So just wipe that off really good after that two minutes. 
Okay, so for the last step, it's basically our top coat. So for the first layer of the top coat, just remember that activator leaves a sticky film, even though we wipe the majority of it off. So you lay down your top coat. And then you're going to wipe the brush off, and then you continue. So you're going to do your top coat. And you're going to wipe that brush off. Do your top coat and go all the way to the cuticle. This is the very last step. So, go all the way to the cuticle and down. And then again, you're going to wipe that brush off really well. Like I said in my last video, I forgot to wipe off the brush. Um, and I was like, oh, well, it's not that big a deal, blah, blah, blah went and you know finished my nails and did all that and the next time I went to go do my nails the brush and the liquid on the inside of the bottle was rock solid <laughs> so make sure you wipe that brush off it's it's a very very important step so let's move on to the next side look at that y'all this is my favorite part it's like you finally get to see your hard work paid off. It looks good. Everything's nice and crisp and pretty. Wipe that brush off real good. See, and I just, I love how that foil looks under um, a clear polish. I do have like a French, a French pink where it basically looks like the skin tone of the nail bed. Um, like when you get like a French manicure. But I really like how the clear looks with the foil. I think it looks really good. Maybe um, here soon I'll do a manicure with the foil. Because um, I have quite a few different colors of the foil. Um, and use it with the French pink and see how that turns out. Alright. Now we got to go in again for a second layer of the top coat. But this time we do not have to wipe the brush off. I'm really surprised. This pink glitter, I, I really do like it. I didn't think I would, but I really do think it looks nice. Definitely, definitely looks very Barbie-esque. Alright. Get that laid down real good. Sorry if y'all hear squeaking in the background. I have my giant schnauzer and um, he gets pretty playful in the afternoon. All right. So now that we got this last set of the top coat on, this with no lights... Um, so with this last step of the um, top coat, you do not need any LED or UV lights. You just wait two minutes and it's perfectly dry and you can go on about your business. Again, that's what I love about Peppy Gel um, with the powder at least. I do use their gel a lot and with the gel you do have to use a light. But with this powder, two minutes guys, max. And you are dry, ready to go and can go continue doing whatever you need to do. So I'm going to let this sit for two minutes and then I will come back and show you the final product. All right, you guys, so here is my take on some Barbie nails. 
I think they turned out really pretty. So we got the solid purple. We got the pink graffiti. We got a little bit of a marble effect there. It didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to. Um, it did on the thumb. You can see a little bit of that purple and that glitter in there. And we have the foil and the fade. I definitely like how I did um, something different on each nail this time. And I kind of switched it up and made the pattern a little bit different on each hand. I think it turned out really nice. Um, if y'all have any questions for me, definitely leave it in the um, comments below. And I'll be glad to answer any questions y'all have. Um, yeah, I think they turned out really good. Really happy with them. All right, you guys, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.